Welcome back everybody. I'm tired. This is going to be a weird one, but I thought I should make a video. Lots happened today. We're going to get started on this case of crew and limb. See if we can't pull a couple of shards from it. Um, what happened today? Today, today, uh, Taylor got announced seems to be the cosplayer promo card for pro tour um it's already already on the list of non-tournament legal promos lss 003 you can tell because you look at the bottom of the card it shows lss 003 and then it doesn't have the name near it but if you go to the taylor card it says lss 003 uh i did that all myself no one told me that i figured it out I'm very proud of myself so Yorick and Taylor are not tournament legal. Seem very cool for like Ultimate Pit Fight and PvE, of course. But anyone talking about, like, don't take it seriously. It's a promo hero. It seems to be for cosplayers. Although I think that's a bit loose, meaning I think by the time we get to Pro Tour, if you watched... um saints video uh fabled hunters he unboxed some like props that lss sent him i think maybe you'll be able to actually dress up there as well and participate in something and maybe get yourself that promo while you're there maybe there's like a pve event or something where you can win it hopefully it's not just for cosplayers because that would mean a very very limited amount of those either way i'm gonna try and get one it's gonna be cool uh try and convince my better half to cosplay. All right. Foil Anathos. I don't think I've seen a rainbow foil one of these before. And a snag. Uh, what else happened today? So today the Monarch print numbers were released. Although it wasn't released like in any sort of um <clears throat> public way, it was just posted to the website. Like the the number on the website was updated, I should say. A uh, weird way to do it. 125,000 booster boxes. That that was another. I got too many people, including friends, ask me what my thoughts are on that. And, ooh, not a bad brute hit. Beast within foil. This is going to sound rude, but you'll get it. You'll understand where I'm coming from. I, I really don't care what the print numbers are. I've been saying that for a long time. I don't give a fuck. Like, people are making all this all these assumptions and, and decisions. That's the crazy thing, right? People are making decisions. Did I put a foil in here? No, it's just bright. It's 125,000 booster boxes, full stop. That's all the information you have. Second foil majestic. It's actually like a useless bit of information. Let me explain why. Yes, you can argue that, ah, oh, but it's compared to crew and blah, blah, blah. The reason it's useless, one is it's a, it's a number in a vacuum. You don't know how many of those 125,000 Kasai. I love her border. So you don't know how many of those boxes um, have been sold. You don't know how many of them. And don't before you say they've all been sold, we, we know that distributors held on to them. So no, they may not have already all been sold. Second, you don't know what percentage of what's sold has been opened versus not opened. You don't know how much unlimited is out there. So really the number is just a number that some collectors are interested in. Will it, like the, the okay, the question I've been asked all day is, do you think it'll change anything? No, I don't think it'll change anything. What will change anything to do with Monarch is how many more new players come into the game. How many of them want to buy Prism and Bolton and Levia and Chain cards? And that, ooh, foil crucible. That will have much more of an impact than the print number that did. Uh, to me, it seems obvious. If there's 10 million players, then 125,000 uh, 125, boxes is nowhere near enough to cater to that. And if there's 10,000 players, then 125,000 booster boxes is maybe too many for the population. You don't need 10 boxes per player, right? But we also are talking in a space of time. The set's not, you know, it's a set. It, c it can be out for 10 years and service the needs of players for a long time. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. It's exciting to see LSS um, like 7X, their print run from Crew to Monarch. 
which means growth, which means that's good. Hopefully Tails was more than that again. And hopefully the June set is more than that again. The key thing you should worry about, man, we're hitting all the weapons. The thing you should worry about is if you care about your investment in Fab is to keep the community um, clean and not toxic and don't um, shark any new player out of their money because they don't know the value of what you sold and that kind of thing. That's what grows the economy of the game and what will matter more in the long run than, than the number itself will. The game's very young. If you're looking at print numbers already in year three, you're doing it wrong, I think. I think it's just irrelevant. Just let it be. If you already have Monarch stock, no, it's not going to double overnight. If you're thinking of buying Monarch stock, I'd tell you, yeah, it's probably a good idea to buy some. Uh, it's pretty cheap right now. It's the cheapest it's ever been. This announcement hasn't done anything to raise the price. So if you're looking at the announcement going, um, that's not too high, just go grab yourself a, <laughs> go grab yourself a box or a case. Uh, but... If you don't remember, I like to open the boxes I buy. So as investments go, I only look at Monarch right now going, it's cheap enough to buy and crap. And that's sort of what I've been doing. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the rant for the day. Um, no other real uh, news. Uh, looking forward to Jersey. Looking forward to... I have two more skirmishes tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. On Saturday. So tonight is, is Thursday for me. On Saturday, I'll play one. And on Sunday, I'll play the last one of the season. Look forward to that. I've been doing well with Kasai. So hoping to perform well at these things. Uh, maybe win one. Who knows? It's possible. I've got my head around the deck. It's now a little bit more to do with luck and, and making sure I play right. So... This is the second last pack. Not a, not a terrible box, really. Um, eight Majestics, two foil. We hit a good one. A Gorganian is, is always a good hit. Also hit three weapons, which they're not worth a fortune, but, you know, they're worth something. All right. Not the best box, but we've got the whole case to unbox. Uh, I'll do that in the series of videos, as you guys know, uh, while I'm talking to myself. Technically, there's no one here. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, chat to you soon. Thank you for watching Flukenbox. Please subscribe for more content.